G'day, this is BLX Ed, and welcome back to Buzz Aldrin Space Program Manager. So, we're continuing where we left off last time, and end turn, end season. So, we're reaching a point now where our Explorer probe is pretty reliable. I reckon 90% normally is my cutoff for feeling pretty confident. If I'm trying to rush it, I will go sort of mid 80s. But Soviets haven't put anything up just yet, and obviously the rocket's not ready, so I can't launch that. Looks like this will be the first one I launch, provided my... Oh. Well, I'm not going to be launching anything. This random event has taken a whole bunch of money and blocked me off for a turn. Doesn't matter, we will still keep the you know, R&D program going. Um, yeah, looks like we'll leave it at that. This is catching up 10% as opposed to only you know, just over two and a half. So as it gets higher and higher, the R&D becomes more and more difficult. Uh, one of the flaws in this game is that if you do launch something and it explodes or it breaks, you actually lose R&D. Whereas I would have thought, at least game-wise, it would have made sense to increase your R&D. So you've, you've learned from your mistake. But uh, what it does is actually, it's an incentive to not launch until you're sure that nothing is going to go wrong. Because if you do launch, if you rush it, you're actually going to be much slower in the long run. Because you've got to R&D all the same stuff again. So I reckon that probably could be fixed if the game ever got patched. Um, so it looks like we're not doing anything just yet. Everyone's still training. And we're still researching. 90%. That's getting there. This has reached 95%. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to pick my highest leadership person, which is Dennis Larson. Actually, this guy has also got good piloting. This guy's got better overall skills. So I'm going to remove him. I'm going to... Um, I actually can't remember what I need, so I'll take them all off and then I'll put them back to training. Whoever I don't use. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to launch our experimental plane. We're going to just test it in flight. It's going to be risky, but we've got our decent boost person trajectory. So if something goes wrong, well, we might be able to fix it. Hopefully it doesn't go wrong. And we will put our... So leadership is the main thing here. You have a look. Uh, it used to tell you what you needed. It looks like there's a bug. Normally, uh, just at the bottom of this text, there should be a whole bunch of skill checks, but it, it's not actually telling me. It's interesting. It might have been a patch that I, I, I can't know what it's good for yet. But that's going to cost us a bit of money, and we're risking his life. And who didn't we use? We didn't use our spacecraft system person. Okay, you keep training. Up to about 90. Again, training slows down as you get higher, so I want them to get to at least 90, and then I'll consider doing something with them. Uh, alrighty. And turn, and we'll be able to launch done a little bit of final R&D on it and our rocket is getting there. I'm actually thinking I might take these people off and start training them now because it's only 1% per turn while I wait for this rocket to catch up. Okay, so if we get, if we succeed, we get 250 prestige. If we fail, we're actually going to lose more than that because we'll have killed a person and we'll have proven that we don't know how to launch a really quick plane. So this is my plane that takes me to my other plane, and off we go. We're going to monitor from mission control. You can just do a dice roll, sort of skip to the end, but I actually enjoy watching the little, you know, quirky art direction. It's quite fun. So off we go. So these are all the steps. There's going to be a check at every one of these steps. So even though we have a, you know, a 95% with the machine and obviously lower because of the skills of our people currently being used, uh, it's going to be 
six eighty nine percent checks. And this will this will change a little bit depending on what skill is being used. So far we're going pretty well. Kaboom. No, made it. Brilliant. It's our first successful launch. So we get a little test badge. Uh, we actually upgraded, so we succeeded, and they now know more about the machine. And some of our people got better at their jobs, and our pilot increased his skill quite substantially. Alrighty, that's good. Now this pilot will be resting for one season, which is a reason why I like to have five people, because some of the later um, Missions require one person who does like a ground control and then two people who fly. So you can actually do back-to-back -back missions. You can do two people flying with a ground control. They would then rest. Ground control can be used again because he's not tired. And then the other two go in. You can have two teams that cycle through like that for most of your missions. If I'm doing Apollo, I'm actually going to want three people. So seven might be a valuable investment later. But right now, I don't really have the money to spare i have to wait until my budget gets a little bit higher. But... Um, these people are in. I'm going to want you to stop training so I can launch again. And these three are going to get their leadership up before I'll do anything with them. It's just the most important skill for pilots, or for crew members, whatever you call them. Uh, you know, 29%. Having that checked on every single thing would just pull the reliability of the vehicle right down. If they panic or if something goes wrong, they can't handle it. So we're going to now launch the next one. And now that we've tested it, these had a red boundary around them before, which indicated that we would have had a negative chance of success simply because we hadn't tested the, the vehicle yet. So we've done that, we've got these two here, and there are no mission penalties. So we'll start with the altitude one, get them into space. Uh, yep, good enough. And we'll put our other pilot in, who's upped his leadership a little bit more. Although his... oh there you go. Yeah, I can actually view the steps required now. So take off, 60% of that check is made of leadership, piloting only factors in by 15%, and fitness again is part of that, because the G-forces are under. And you can see leadership actually plays a role in every single check. Piloting and fitness in this do as well, simply because it's a spacecraft, uh, it's a, more like a plane rather than a pure spacecraft. But in the different mission configurations, uh, piloting is more or less important, fitness is more or less important, whereas leadership is always going to be a constant. So I like to get that one up. So, looks like the mission's going to be quite a bit better. While we're at it though, these people, I mean that's going to, that's not going to increase at all, 0.1% it'll likely increase. So I will get rid of them and I'll actually spend this time training. So you are going to be, you're going to be my space probe man. You'll be a crewed spacecraft person. So I've got one of each. Let's take a note so I know what I've got. So I need, look at here, rockets. Writing on my little notepad. This is one of those games where having a notepad is very useful to keep track of everything. Uh, if you get to my age, you're not that old, but if you get to my age, you might struggle to keep it all stuck up in your head. And EVA. EVA will come down low. So I've got one rocket person, 
I've got one human rated rocket from before, I've got one space probe and one crewed. I'd like to have definitely space probe and crewed at least four of those. You can be another crewed person. You can be my probably another crewed person. Actually, how about I sort them by crewed skill? You be another crewed. So it's out to three now, I think. So I need one more crewed. There we go. That's four crewed people training up. Okay. Remove people who are there. And space probe. Looks like the rest of you are going to be all space probes. There we go. So I won't be going back to them for a little while. They can just train in the background while we continue on. Everyone, the zero people idle, free. So let's prepare. Let's get in there. Let's prepare our launch. So this one is not just a flight test, we're actually going for an altitude record here. So again, we still lose this uh, prestige, a similar amount, if we crash and kill the person. But there's a lot more prestige to actually be gained from this simply because we're actually doing something of substance here. So let's watch it. Our altitude record. looking good so far. If you guys can hear in the background as well all the chatter, the radio chatter, I believe it's actually taken from official NASA chatter, radio chatter. So it is actually quite authentic stuff. Whether it relates to the mission or not, I don't know. But they've just picked something and it sounds pretty good. Mission successful, 600 points. And I believe, I have to see that number up there, I believe we might have our minimum requirement. Nope, we don't. Not by a long shot. So we need 1,800. Well, we've got our minimum, actually. We haven't got our target, our maximum. And that's what I really want. Yeah, so we've got 1,875. That's what we're going for. Well, we're not going to get fired unless we have a series of catastrophic accidents in the near future. And we've got five more turns. So, our first astronaut, so the guy we just used is now resting, and the other guy has cycled back in. So we can send him back up again. Oops, wrong one. So let's do the final thing, the flight, sorry, the speed record we're going for now. All good. And put him in and launch next season. Now we're actually starting to run out a little bit of time here in five more turns. So at the end of 1958, they're going to assess our performance. And if we haven't got this rocket up in time, so this one's obviously quite reliable, but the rocket itself is what's getting there. So we can actually, the maximum R&D we can get it up to is 89%, so we can't develop it any more than that on the ground. We have to actually test it in flight to get up to the 99.8. And you can never get a 100% rocket. But something can always go wrong. But we're currently at 81, so I reckon we'll give it a few more turns. Probably we'll prepare it for launch next turn after we've finished our speed record. Yep. Okay, we're doing a flight record, or sorry, a speed record now. So this one gives us a huge amount of uh, prestige. Now our component, the actual vehicle itself, is probably at maximum now. 
and it's being dropped down to about 91% based on the skills of our other people currently being used. So the flight director is not actually used at any one point. He gives a, as far as I'm aware, he gives a general boost to the whole, the whole lot. He doesn't actually control one particular area. So he'll never light up. Done. That's very good. Now that actually has given us enough points. Just based on this alone, we don't even need to launch the Explorer. Um, but we've got enough. We've ready for our promotion. Uh, oh, it can be upgraded a little bit more. So we're ready for our promotion. Launching the rocket is actually... a Ah, uh, okay, they've beaten us. Sputnik has gone up. So they Russians have beaten us to space, much like the real world. Should have risked it, taken a bit earlier, but it doesn't matter. So we can follow in their footsteps and gain a little bit of prestige, not quite as much as they've got, but still a big boost. We're also risking if we crash, we might actually lose prestige and, and bring us back under. So 600, though, I don't think we're going to lose that much, at least not early on. So what we're going to do here is probably take our chances. I need a booster person, a... Hmm, i take you off, training. I need you, and our flight director person. Okay, so these three are controlling it. There's no uh, no flight crew on this one, so it's just these three, and there's only two components. Together, we've got an 88% overall, got an 88% chance of success, which is room for error, but hopefully nothing will go wrong. So I'm gonna get your crew and payload up, and that one up. And while we're here, may as well start training our person again. 6.5, that'll do, it's close enough to 90. Okay. Alrighty, getting a little bit nervous here. A little bit of final R&D on the rocket, and off we go. 88% overall, and a big chunk of it of prestige we can gain, which will give us a head start towards our next goal later on. And a little bit if we fail. Monitor from mission control. Alrighty then. Well I'm actually going to call this episode here. I'll leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger and I'll see you next time as we launch our first uh, rocket into orbit. Thanks very much. I've been BLXZ and I'll see you next time. Take care.